Good afternoon to everyone. Welcome to the training session dedicated to sensor education. My name is uh, Victoria Smilkova. I work uh, in Slow Food and Bra. And uh, on behalf of Slow Food, uh, let give me you a very warm welcome to this session dedicated to education, to sensor education. Before going to the content of today's uh, training, please let me give you some technical information. There's an interpretation available and in the bottom of the window, you will see the globe. If you click on the globe, you will find uh, the interpretation into Russian and Azerbaijani languages. Uh, uh, the second one is available under the option of Korean. Another important thing is that we have a chat and we can chat with us or with other attendees. If you have questions, you can ask them in the chat and we will answer them either during the session or at the end of the session. Another important thing is that today we have a very practical training. So please, to participate in the practical part, prepare a, three glasses of water, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, and a slice of lemon, if you haven't done it before. We would also uh, like to inform you that we will use a, a platform that is called Slido, uh, that will help to make this training more interactive. We will give you more detailed uh, instructions uh, while we were will be doing the exercise. Special announcement as well for the participants from Azerbaijan. Please fill in the attendee form that will appear in the chat soon. And let me come back to the training itself and to the census. During today's meeting, we will be happy to give you the basic notion of sensor education as well as uh, we will try together to practice and to train our senses so that you can uh, do some of these exercises uh, back uh, to the classroom with your students. And let me introduce the panel of today's training. I really thank them for being with us today and uh, for all the preparation work that they've done uh, for bringing the training uh, to 
you and to us within this session. Please let me introduce you Annalisa Renzi. She is a consultant in development and trainings in environmental food sensor education in several educational and training centers. She is also working with associations, with regional parks, with schools and with many educational establishments. And Barbara Napini, food educator and member of the regional board of Slow Food Tuscany. Please, uh, the floor is yours. Enjoy the training. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Victoria. And yes, I'm Barbara. And I'm here actually not exactly, I would prefer to use the word game instead of training. So we're going to play a bit. And in spite of the big distance we, we are, and also in spite of the screen that divide us, we would like to play the game um, with a, some kind of interaction between me and you. So actually, uh, Victoria asked you to, to collect some ingredients which are very, very, very simple. And I hope you are going, you, you already have. These are salt, like this, and then also sugar, and then also a slice of lemon. These are the instruments uh, to play with, and also you need some water and maybe a towel. And what's more, you need your senses. Uh, to uh, play together and interact, uh, we are, I, I have the, the help of a very, very, very simple application, which is called Slido. And um, I think uh, it's uh, written on the, on the chat in order that you can go there. To use this application is uh, needed for playing with me. So you just have to enter the, the the word slido which is written s l i dot d o and then you will find a blank page with just a space to enter a code and the code and the code is also written on the chat which is hashtag e248 so at first you just have to enter in the uh, in in the page of slido on your browser and then dial this code this is useful because uh, there you will find some, some questions from, from me. And this, these questions are going to be answered by you. Uh, you can use your own language. So you can, if you know the word uh, in English, okay, but then you can also use uh, your own language to describe what you, what you feel actually, because it's a kind of sharing feelings and sensations. And uh, then the, the translation service will translate it. So no problem. So I share the, my screen on which we will find the Slido page. OK. So this is the first page you are going to find with the code. Okay, and this one is the first question I want to ask, which seems very simple, but not as simple as it seems. Actually, what do you use to eat? Uh, normally, we could say mouth, but it's not the, the complete answer. In Italy, sometimes we say eating with eyes, which means that sometimes we have the desire to eat something just because we see it and it's beautiful or it's, it looks tasty. Yes, also hands or uh, plate and fork maybe. Uh, so please answer to this question. So we will see what people used to eat. Nose, okay. 
And then mouth feel, okay. I will do this too. Nose, taste buds. Teeth, justo, right. If you don't have teeth, it's quite hard to eat. <laughs> justo. And then also tongue and, uh, okay, nose, eyes. Okay, so we eat with many things. We need a lot, a lot of things to eat. Then, second question. How much do you, do you think you normally use your senses? We normally use our senses because we have eyes to see and we have ears to, to listen and we have hands to touch. But actually, we are normally not, not so focused on what we are using to, to live in, a, in our reality. So normally, how much do you think you use your senses during normal life? Okay, a medium, uh, a medium ranking, not someone also the 10%. Okay, a lot, the, the 100%. Okay, mostly they say they use like seven, which is a bit more than half. Okay, let's go on. Okay, now we are starting to use what I asked you to collect. So we are starting with salt. And the first thing I ask you to do is to uh, wait for instruction to, to play with me. So at first with salt, you should just taste it, uh, touch it, sorry. Just touch it with your hands, with your fingertips. Touch it and write what you feel. How does it how does it, how, how, what do you feel under your fingertips? So is it maybe smooth or, or sharp or, yeah, grainy? Um, small crumbs? Is it cold or is it warm maybe? So it's a bit rough, it's raw, not cold or warm, so maybe normal temperature, it's fresh. Okay. Mostly it's grainy. Okay. Okay, this is just with your with our with your and my touch. And then what about smelling it? So please take salt and put it near your nose. And just smell if it has a smell. So is it is that is it strongly strongly smelling or not or weakly? Is it is it salted the smell? Is it good or bad? Or is it, it does it have no smell at all? I don't know if you have ever smelled the, the salt before. Okay, no smell. Of course, it depends also on, on uh, which kind of salt do you use, but actually, okay, for someone is very salty, it's for someone no smell, no smell at all. Okay, so the last proof is with our tongue and our mouth, very salt, okay. So at this point, we can taste it. So put salt in your mouth, leave it on your tongue for a while and feel it. 
you will have some also in the mouth some touching sensation which is about how big it is the grains and also the taste the sensation so what does it taste like it's salty or strongly or maybe weakly salty or maybe it's good or, or it's bad it's not not good at all so it's really strong for some Mm, I didn't see. It smells like the ocean. Mm, 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 mm. Molto, very, very salty or bitterly salty also. For me too, mine is um, big, big salt and it's quite bitter, actually. Okay, so this is about not giving the right answer, not at all, it's not a race, but it's just about focusing on what we feel and sharing sensation and our um, feelings also with others. So I thank you very much for sharing all this. So we're going to do the same game with sugar, but before I need you to drink water. So you clean your mouth and you are ready for a new try. Okay, let's take sugar. The same, first of all, we touch sugar. So touch it and write what you feel. The same, is it maybe, is it fine or, or, or big or is it smooth or is it sharpie or? Rough crumbs, big granny. Quindi, so some grains are big, big. for some it's smooth, dry. And sandy also, like sand. Small. Okay. Crystal, like crystal. Very good. This was about touching. And then let's do the same we did with salt before. So we put it near our nose and smell it and the same we are going to have different sensation in order to our sensitivity but also in order to what kind of sugar we did choose so we can write what do we what do we feel smelling no smell Someone very good, no smelling. Sweet. Ah, melassa. I don't know the translation of this word, melassa. For some, it's, it has no smelling. To me, it's very enjoyable. I have brown sugar and it's very good uh, smell, almost like caramel. This, this depends on what kind of sugar you we did yet choose. Okay, last thing, finally, we are going to taste sugar. So please put it in your mouth and slowly, slowly taste it. So the same, you're going to feel some um, touchy sensation also in the mouth and also the taste of course so it's written nice 
Very good. Pretty sweet. Very, very sweet. Very tasty. So this also depends on maybe on what we feel, what we are used to, and also the kind of sugar we have. Okay. Ah, toffee, like muscovado. Okay. Okay. So this is what we had to, to try with sugar. Then again, I ask you to please drink some water. Um, honeyed. Someone wrote honeyed. Okay. So last try we are going to do is about lemon. Like this. I took a slice of, of lemon. And the same. At first we touch it. And depending also in this case on which kind of lemon we have, like it's fresh or it's not, mine is not that fresh, but it's uh, homemade. My brother cultivated it. And uh, so we can touch the skin outside and also the pulp inside, which is normally quite juicy. And then it could be um, touching it. It could be humid, yes, could be juicy. Could be like uh, you could feel fever or, or not, maybe. Um, it could be soft. You can feel little parts. It's acid. Acid with hands. The, the, yes, the skin is smooth and it's juicy inside. Yeah. Okay, smooth outside. Very juicy. Okay. Okay. Crude for the, from outside. Fresh humid. Okay, mine is very cool too. It's cold also. Similar to sponge. Okay. So many sensation. Then Annalisa will explain all this game. Now we are just feeling, just focusing on feeling. Then, what about uh, smelling? So you should bring it to your nose and smell it. And please write what you feel with your nose. So. Sometimes what we expect is also different from what we really feel. So sometimes it could be an unexpected, surprising smelling. So fermented, smells of nature, uh, lemon. Mine is uh, quite, quite sweet. And then some writes floral, good. Strong acid, okay. Some fresh citrus smelling, okay. I would say also, to me, is also unexpected. The smell I felt. Okay, so last try is about taste. So as before, you can put the slice of lemon in your mouth a bit. Maybe you can suck. <laughs> Actually, it's very different the smelling from tasting. So, we can write what we feel <laughs> with, with our mouth. Okay. 
So very acid, acid, very thirsty, harsh, mold, strong acid, very acid, yeah. Yes, even mine, which was quite sweet on the smelling, instead when I did taste it, it was very, very acid, more than I expected. Okay, aspro, which is like bitter, tannic, bitter and sour. Okay. Okay. Sour. Very fresh lemon. Lemon. Okay. So if you want, you can drink again some water. But this, the acid of the of lemon stays in our mouth, remains a bit. However, we're going to the end of this part. Actually, I would like to you to know what what is your favorite ingredient. In the uh, total idea that you made of it, actually we use three senses, like touching and then smelling and then tasting. And so the, the entire experience uh, gave us uh, an idea of each ingredient. So which one was your favorite? Did you prefer the entire experience with salt, sugar, or lemon? Okay, salt, more, lemon, and sugar. Okay. And then last question, which is the first how much do you normally uh, use your senses? So normally, did it did something change before mm, in in compare in comparison with before? Before there was a seven, which was the most. Um, so. Mostly, most person think they use normally 10, which is the maximum, their senses, and some nine and some five. Okay. The slide is a bit different from before. However, um, this was just, uh, as I said, not, not, there is no right answer. There is no race. It's just about feeling. And so, we did focus on enjoying the experience, but there is a reason for all of this, for what we feel and, and uh, for how does it change uh, uh, in our mind, the, the, the idea of, of what we, how we interact with, um, with food. So this is going to be uh, explained by Annalisa, my friend, which is coming after me. And so I really thank you for sharing this moment with me, with all of us. And uh, I thank you for being here. Grazie, ciao. Thank you, Barbara. And uh, I am going to share my, my slide because uh, for me it's very important to share this slide. Oh, okay. Well, I, I described the sensory system, but is uh, very important, okay, uh, to describe the word perception. And uh, the import, perception is a word very particular. And uh, to describe this uh, word is important to make uh, some question. Uh, how does the stimulus come to the brain? Brain is very important for our senses. And uh, it's important uh, the, how does the stimulus come to the brain? And why the response of two individuals to same events is not the same? I mean, I smell... Uh, uh, a uh, rosa, an uh, aroma of rose, of rose. And uh, I, I say, oh, for me, it's an aroma of uh, 
of rose. Uh, for Barbara, no. For me, he's a uh, uh, flower. Or no, he's a violet. Uh, why the response of two individuals to same events is not the same? And another question, what is the difference between uh, re reality and the map we draw, uh, the map in, uh, in your, uh, your brain, in your hand, your head, okay? What a mechanism lead to the creation of our map of uh, reality? How do they work? And uh, to what extent does our mental scam interfere with our judgment of uh, reality? The, how does the stimulus, the wider response, and what is the difference are the important questions. But perception, what is this perception? Okay, when I smell uh, uh, an aroma, uh, start a stimulus, stimulus starts from peripheral nervous system. Start from stimulus, from peripheral nervous system to brain, to central nervous system. In uh, uh, stimulus arrived in the central nervous system and we have the perception. Then this stimulus called perception star, uh, star leaves the central nervous system and uh, go to the peripheral nervous system. This, uh, this new stimulus called response, but the response for me, the response uh, uh, my, my response, the response of Barbara, is, is different. Is different because, because uh, me and Barbara are different person, different uh, uh, woman. Okay, and uh, uh, to, from stimulus to, to response, there are different experience, different uh, emotion, different culture, different tension is, uh, uh, in fact, uh, in the exercise, uh, uh, when Barbara asked uh, uh, the, the word about uh, the smell of uh, salt, you are responsible, you, uh, your uh, uh, answers were, differ were different, very different, because uh, different culture, different experience, okay. So there is an irreducible uh, difference between the world and the experience that we have of it. Each human being creates a map or model to better orient himself in the real world. My map, my model of the experience uh, of uh, senses experience, uh, smell, uh, an aroma, uh, touch uh, something. It, I create a map in my brain, but it's different. It's not the real world because Barbara answer in a different way. It's very important, this uh, concept. The senses is the senses is uh, there uh, are five senses. There are two physical senses, two chemical senses, and one particular sense, uh, physical and chemical senses. This is a somesthetic system, and so I mean touch. The somesthetic system says is uh, important to feel the tactile sensitivity, uh, grainy, sad, okay, or hard, fluffy, okay. Thermal, thermal, I, I mean fresh, hot, okay. Pain, 
Steep and visceral. But uh, two different per perceptions is, are very important for the somesthetic system. Physical perception and chemical perception. Uh, with a physical perception, I mean Thelma, mechanic, pain, sensitivity. And uh, the way uh, we basically used uh, three hours about uh, this uh, perception. Epidermis, touch with, uh, uh, with, uh, oh, oh, with uh, uh, things uh, all uh, oral mucosa and mucosa of the nasal ca cavity. This is the three hours very important when I want to uh, taste a, a product, gastronomic product. Okay. And then there are the chemical perception, astringent, pungent, tot piquancy, burning cool, metallic. Astringent is very important perception about the, the somesthetic. Uh, as in general, I, I want to eat uh, uh, a banana, but this banana is immature. In my mouth, I have a, a perception about, called astringent. Okay. About the olfactory system. Olfactory system it, uh, identifies the uh, chemical compound element dispersed in a uh, uh, gas. But olfactory se sensation affects different uh, uh, moments of my life, social life. Uh, the, the aroma of my friend, I love the aroma of my friend. Okay, I want to uh live for my with my friend i want uh, to speak with my friend okay i don't like the or uh, the, the aroma of my friend or oh i don't know i don't want to uh live with uh, with her with him okay or health or pleasure safety hazard identification there are the aroma very particularly about this hazard identification. I mean, smoke, burn, okay, is aroma that is very important for hazard identification, okay. About the safety, is very important the, the, uh, the coffee aroma because it is a, a, is a aroma for the, the, the safety life. Okay, the sexual sex life. Okay, but uh, the senses of smell is stimulated through. Okay, when I smell uh, an aroma, a rose, uh, I put the rose near the nose and I use the direct olfactory way. Okay, no. but when I put a piece of banana, okay, in my mouth uh, and feel banana, this is not a touch of flavor, okay, but is aromas, uh, is aroma, okay, and I feel this by indirect olfactory way. Uh, is not correct. Uh, uh, oh, oh, is a, a touch, is a flavor of uh, of a banana. No, is a banana aroma. Okay, when you eat a banana in your mouth, you are the aroma of banana. Non, no, not uh, mm, uh, flavor of banana. And then there are a, a three, uh, a three particular way is as, as the blood, but it's not uh, very important. 
in this case. Their fact is very strong senses about, is the very important senses. Is uh, uh, senses that you use the, the olfactory during, even during sleeping, sleep. In fact, when you sleep, you can feel the aroma of the coffee, I mean, of the bread, okay? Is uh, with the uh, olfactory system, you can feel uh, more, 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 more molecular um, about the aroma. The problem is uh, to uh, the, the, na the name of these molecular. And uh, the olfactory influences the limbic system. I mean, so the, uh, the emotion. Okay, when you feel a particular aroma, you have, uh, we, have we have an emotion, okay? Uh, an emotion, I, I remember a particular situation. I remember my mom, my, I don't know, uh, the, the, the particular day in the mountain, okay? Because the, uh, the, the aroma is the olfactory system, uh, influence the limbic system, okay. But uh, when uh, I want uh, to memory the name of aroma, it's not uh, too easy. It's not too easy because uh, uh, it's very important to associate the name uh, to aroma, okay. And the meters uh, to make this uh, is, uh, okay, I smell the aroma and uh, uh, make a name repetition. I mean, ro rose, 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 okay. Then, or uh, uh, associate the name to the image or the sound or events. The first uh, way uh, when I smile the first time, uh, the first time I rose, I I, sp I spoke with uh, my friend Mario. Okay, when in the future I will smell uh, the 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 aroma of a rose, I remember. This situation, and then okay, the name is Rose. Or emotion production. I connect the name to the, uh, the emotion production. This uh, system to memory this uh, the aroma called semantic level anchorage. But uh, uh, there is a classification about uh, the aromas. Okay and uh, is uh, important to when you want to uh, explain the aromas uh, uh, about the a project etc uh, the, class, the the classification of the aromas are the floral in the floral family uh, there are flowers dry and fresh but the, there is also honey or the fruity citrus, fresh, nuts, dried fruits, okay. Uh, vegetal, herb, balsamic, spice, okay. You can uh, see on the, on the slide. Toast, coffee, cocoa, cereal, caramel. Caramel is the word uh, about the sugar in the, your agrocyte. Uh, Hempy aromatic, birth, smoke, biochemically. Bio, biochemical, oxidized, caseous, sulfur, mold, animal. Okay, this is a classification of the aroma. The taste system. The taste system is a chemical sense that identifies the chemicals in a liquid. And uh, <laughs> if you want uh, to read a dictionary, you can. Uh, uh, read uh, the, the taste, the act of testing 
food or drink, or the sensation or quality as perceived by the sense, or for the sense by which the flavor or savor of things is perceived when they are both, both into contact with the tongue. Uh, taste uh, is uh, the, the, the word to explain the uh, chemical sense. Okay, taste, chemical sense. Flavor is the taste perceived in food or written in the mouth, as something added to food, etc., to impart a specific taste. Is uh, flavor are sweet only, uh, taste, uh, flavor are sweet, acid, bitter, salty, and savory savory or uh, umami, okay? Only these five words about the flavor because uh, the taste sense is our tongue. In fact, in the tongue is the main place where uh, taste papilla are found and the papilla uh, fill, fill, sweet, acid, bitter, salty, and savory. About the acid, acid is a, 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 a particular electric current in your uh, the surface of your tongue, and during few seconds, okay, when you uh, feel acidity. For more uh, second, uh, 10, 10, uh, 20 seconds, it's not acid about the tongue, okay, about the taste, but is a, a perception uh, of aroma, acid aroma, I mean citrus, okay? And uh, this is a, a particular slide. There, there are the particular area when in, uh, in my tongue, uh, I mean, uh, when, uh, where I feel only sugar, feel only acid. No, it's not true. The papilla is is are in your tongue and no in particular area of our tongue. It's very important. Uh, University of uh, Davis uh, uh, is a, um, uh, a study of university of the, of the, um, in California. Okay, it's very, very important this, okay? And then visual system. Visual system side is a physical sense that allows the perception of the screen environment through a kind of electromagnetic energy. Uh, so the light, okay, is very much the aspect. Uh, can you uh, feel with uh, um, with sight? Hard transparency for surface feature, movement, hardness. Hardness really is a, a, a word to, from uh, uh, some aesthetic, uh, some aesthetic uh, system, but we can use this word, this word also in uh, uh, sight aspects. Shape, sight, and color. Color, tone, I mean red, yellow, okay, and intensity, few yellow, strong uh, yellow, okay, and uh, the, also the side is the the, um, the important uh, mm, the important sense, and uh, the war, the women and men use this sense. Uh, uh, very strong in more more uh, more in more in many way 
okay? But the, the, the most important sense for, for us is the olfactory. Okay, I finished my, my, my slide and I, Victoria, you present uh, the video, the video, if you want. Thank you, Annalisa, so much for explanations. Thank you, Barbara. We would like to show you a short video that will help you get into the world of senses and understand how senses are important in our life. Please, can you... Disegno per il vento. Taglia un buco in una busta riempita con semi di ogni tipo e metti la busta dove c'è vento. Estate del 1961. Yoko Ono. Stefano Mancuso. Le piante potrebbero insegnarci tanto. Esse rappresentano l'85% del vivente sul pianeta, mentre gli animali di cui noi facciamo parte solo un misero 0,3%. Questo ci fa capire che le decisioni prese dalle piante forse sono state molto più sagge e fruttuose rispetto a quelle prese dagli uomini. E quando la visco da terreni, da come si arriva poco, ho il tratto del professor Mancuso. Hmm, ma perché non ve lo scorderete? Sarà per tutto questo verde. secondario formato dal blu e dal giallo. Il blu è il colore della trascendenza, del cielo, il giallo è il colore dell'ottimismo, del sole e dell'energia vitale. In effetti con il verde la nostra sensibilità alle onde elettromagnetiche della luce ha un picco. sono gli organismi più presenti sul pianeta o forse perché sono stati i primi ad apparire o forse perché sono alla base della nostra alimentazione non lo so perché ma c'è qualcosa con questo verde per tutti noi il verde ci chiama la tranquillità gli antropologi hanno provato a spiegarci il motivo ci dicono che quando eravamo nella preistoria ci siamo finalmente messi in posizione retta in un momento in cui ci sentivamo al sicuro, tranquilli e questo è accaduto nella savana che è verde ed ecco che tutt'oggi noi abbiniamo il colore verde ad una sensazione di, di tranquillità, ad un senso di sicurezza. Adesso però facciamo un gioco. Andate all'aperto, in un ambiente naturale, anche il giardinetto sotto casa va bene. E restate lì per 5 minuti, ascoltate soltanto i vostri sensi.
Well, I want to thank Barbara for this video. It's really very motivating. I hope that after this training, we are more familiar with our senses and we are more practically involved in using them in the everyday life. And we understand that they can be trained as like muscles can be trained. What I would like also to mention our participants is that uh, our series of educational meetings is not over yet. And I'm uh, very happy to invite you on the 6th of March on a forum dedicated to Slow Food Gardens. It will be again held on uh, Terra Madre Salon del Gusto platform. I would like also to ask you to answer the survey. Uh, you will find the link uh, in the chat, uh, so we will understand uh, what you think about the training and you will be able to give us your feedback. And uh, what is most important, I would like to thank the trainers for the time they dedicated to this training session. I would like to thank uh, all the staff that was working on uh, this training. And I would like to thank the participants as well, because you are very, very active today. Thank you all and a good Taramadra to all of us. Bye. Bye. The future of our planet is decided at the table in our daily food choices. What do we know about what we eat? How do we choose? Where do we buy it? You can make a difference and contribute to a future where everyone has access to food that is good. Eating must be a pleasure for everyone. We all have a right to food that is healthy, natural, fresh, and seasonal. Clean. Being aware helps us to choose food that is good for our health and the health of our planet. Fair. Knowing our food means making choices that are fair to us, to the producers, and to future generations. Slow Food has been working for over 30 years to defend biodiversity and fight the climate crisis by promoting good, clean, and fair food for all. slowfood.com slash en and follow us at terramadresalunadelcusta.com